Hello world, it's Siraj, and who's ready to learn some blockchain? For me to be able to write the decentralized applications book two years ago, I needed to study blockchain technology, hard AF and fast AF and efficiently AF since I was simultaneously traveling through different parts of Asia. So if I were to start learning blockchain from scratch today, this is the two month study plan I'd make for myself, but I'm gonna open source it for you wizards since I love you. This is a two month curriculum dedicated to, in order, one week of cryptography, two weeks of Bitcoin, two weeks of Ethereum, one week of other cryptocurrencies, and lastly, two weeks of decentralized applications. But before you do anything else, remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet to stay updated on my content. This channel is my life's work. As you learn this technology, make sure to follow several blockchain authorities on Twitter to keep up with the pulse in this space. And yes, in Soviet Russia, blockchain authorities follow you. Oh, and four more things to remember before we get started with this curriculum. First, watch videos at 2x speed and eventually 3x speed as your brain learns to adapt to faster pacing. Take notes by hand as you watch for memory retention. Dedicate at least two hours every single day to uninterrupted learning. And yes, that includes weekends. And find a study buddy in our Slack channel or someone in real life. It will help keep you motivated. Remember, this is not a game. The links for everything will be in the video description. Before you get into the weeds with cryptocurrencies, you have to understand why the word crypto is used in cryptocurrency. Crypto, short for cryptography, is the art of securing information. Given some sensitive data, it asks the question, how do we prevent a third party aka an adversary, from reading that data. Most people don't realize just how crucial cryptography is for humanity. Pretty much any kind of money transfer, authentication flow, and mission critical system relies very heavily on cryptographic techniques to help maintain secrecy. And cryptography itself sits at the intersection of math, computer science, and even physics. But luckily for us, its prerequisites aren't worthy of dedicating weeks of study to. We can pick them up in a single, well-structured cryptography course. After reading some reviews, it seems that the Intro to Cryptography course on Coursera is the best option here to get started. Started. It's a seven week course that we're going to complete in a single week. Don't do any of the graded projects until you finish all of the videos. Knock them out one by one. At the end of this week, do the final exam for week seven. Really put in an effort, then double check your answers to learn from your mistakes. Now on to weeks two and three. We're going to focus on the blockchain that started it all. Bitcoin. So normally, I almost never recommend reading books to learn this kind of thing since videos are so efficient. But sometimes there are exceptional books out there like the Deep Learning book and Where's Waldo. In this case, I'm going to recommend my friend Andreas Antonopoulos' book, Mastering Bitcoin. It's open source and available to read on GitHub. Andreas does such a great job of breaking down all the moving parts of the Bitcoin protocol. His technical writing skills are next level. There are 12 chapters in this book. We're going to read two to three chapters every single day until we finish them all pacing ourselves. Included in the book are technical instructions for configuring and using the Bitcoin protocol. Go ahead and do those via your terminal. If you get an error at some point, try to fix it. But if no luck, don't get too caught up on it for too long. Just move on. After you've completed the book, go ahead and read the official Bitcoin white paper, specifically an annotated version to make it easier to understand those concepts. Then download a Bitcoin wallet and buy some Bitcoin. It can be a really small amount, but it's mostly just to feel like you're a part of the network and experience the cryptocurrency world firsthand. For the second week of Bitcoin learning, 
take the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency technologies course on Coursera. When you're done with that, spend the rest of the week building a blockchain that uses the proof of work consensus algorithm from scratch in your favorite programming language of choice. I'd recommend either Python or JavaScript. There's a great article that explains how to do this that I'll add to in the links. Add as many features to it as you can to get some hands-on experience in blockchain technology. Now that you've got a handle on Bitcoin, it's time to go down the second rabbit hole, Ethereum. Bitcoin removed the need for an intermediary when sending someone money over the internet, recording all transactions on a public database. The Ethereum developers realized that they could use the same underlying blockchain technology to remove the need for an intermediary for running code. Think of it like a world computer, a decentralized virtual machine to build uncensorable applications on top of. There's a free, really short Ethereum course on Udemy that you should first check out to help you understand the Ethereum architecture. Then you should read the annotated Ethereum white paper for a better understanding. It's much more complex than the Bitcoin one, so really take the time to go through all the details. It'll help you as soon as you start building Ethereum apps using the Solidity programming language. Oh, and uh, speaking of Solidity, once you've finished the course, you can learn Solidity using this crypto zombies game where you learn how smart contracts work by building them and applying them to this game world. It's actually pretty fun. Lastly, blockgeeks.com has a collection of really in-depth articles on Ethereum that I'd recommend checking out. Just hit them up one by one once you search for the Ethereum keyword until you understand all the parts of the architecture. So Bitcoin and Ethereum are out of the way, but what about the other billion cryptocurrencies out there with all of their unique features and ideas? Are they worthless? Yes. No, some of these projects have synthesized some really great ideas, so we should dedicate this week to learning about some of those best ideas. I've got a great playlist that goes over the cryptocurrencies I find the most interesting right here on YouTube that you should definitely check out. Remember to go through the associated code and helpful learning links in the video description for each of them to get a better understanding. You can spread this bit out to an entire week. There are rabbit holes you could go down for any of the cryptocurrencies I talk about, from Monero's ring signatures to Cardano's settlement slayer. Let your curiosity guide you this week. And for the last part of this curriculum, you're going to wrap it all up by learning about the longer term vision for all of these technologies, decentralized applications. Start off by reading my book on the topic. You can find a free version if you Google the name with the word free afterwards. Also, if someone posts a link to the free version in the comments, I'll pin it so you can check it out. That'll take you a full week and a lot of the code is deprecated now because of all the dependencies being updated over time, but the pseudocode, the ideas, and the theories remain. For the very last week, build a decentralized application yourself. Pick an idea, ride sharing or social networking for example, and use the fastest method to prototype approach to build something in a single week. And that's it. I just launched my decentralized applications course at the School of AI, but we've currently got a full class, so sign up there if you want to be notified when the next course opens up. I hope you found these tips useful. Please subscribe for more programming videos, and for now, I've got to upgrade the web, so thanks for watching.